Hi everyone, I'm Dan, a PM at Datadog. When managing cloud infrastructure, engineers need user-friendly, access-controlled tools. One essential task is ensuring your queues are processing messages correctly. If a downstream service has an issue, you may need to investigate and redrive the messages when it's back online. This is typically done via the command line or AWS console, which can be challenging for less experienced users, leading to errors and slower response times. I'll show you how to use Datadog App Builder to create a custom app that reduces bottlenecks, speeds up problem resolution by allowing engineers to manage AWS SQS queues directly from their Datadog dashboard. This app helps teams quickly identify dead letter queues, view messages, and redrive them, resolving issues in under 60 seconds. To get started, I just head to the App Builder homepage under Service Management and click on the New App button. First, I set up my AWS connection and actions by selecting AWS and then SQS from the integrations. Next, I need to configure my actions so they return data from my account. I'll start with the SQS list action to pull my queues into my app by setting up the correct region and hit run. Immediately, I can see that data is flowing into my app. Now that I have the data, I wanna visualize it in my app. So I drag and drop the table component to the canvas change the source to be list queues output, and immediately it visualizes my queues. I can style the data to look more user-friendly by changing the column formatting to tag. Next, let's add some actions to this table that will trigger and start and stop queries I added at the beginning and enable our users to take action. In the table component settings, I can add a row action that I name peak, and I choose that it triggers the query receive messages. I repeat this with redrive and purge, changed in level to reflect the difference between the buttons to my users. Now it's time to configure the peak, purge, and redrive queries so they affect the right queries in the list and update the table after they've made a change. For that, I need to do five things. Set the query as manual so it only triggers when I want and not when the app loads. Choose the right region, US East 1. Set the queue name as a selected row, which is set when the user clicks the button. We use an expression for that using the dollar sign curly brackets and the selected row property. Retrigger the list query so the queues are updated automatically. And lastly, I add a confirmation message so I can confirm a user's intent before they purge the queue. We repeat that for the purge and redrive buttons. I can then preview my app and peek purge or redrive messages directly in AWS without leaving Datadog. As a next step, I can include this in my SRE production dashboard. I hit Save as New App and hit Publish. I confirm the access for my app. By default, my team will be able to use it and I will be able to edit it. I hit Add to a Dashboard. I choose the dashboard and hit Save. My AWS SQS Manager app is now embedded in my team's SQS dashboard allowing me or anyone on my team to easily identify issues and quickly take action on my AWS infrastructure without having to leave Datadog. To summarize, in this video, I showed how to quickly build a new app to manage AWS SQS queues directly from Datadog and how to extend it to my team to self-serve. By integrating your app into your Datadog process, your entire development team is able to minimize context switching and perform monitoring and remediation actions more effectively. Thank you for watching this video and happy building.